Hi, this is John Boyne. I'm the author of The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, and most recently, my brother's name is Jessica. And I'm delighted to answer some of your questions received through Eason, hashtag Eason Asks. Now, the first question is, what inspired the introduction of Gore Vidal as a character in A Ladder to the Sky? And how did you go about bringing him so brilliantly to life? Um, well, I've always been a fan of Gore Vidal's work ever since I was a, a teenager. I really liked his, um, his dry sense of humour, his knowledge of history. Um, I've read a lot of Gore Vidal's work and when I wrote A Letter to the Sky, I felt there should be one real life character in it, one real life writer, who would be uh, a match for Morris Swift's uh, mendacious ways. And I thought it would be uh, the right person to choose would be Gore Vidal. Uh, where did your inspiration for historical fiction come from? And this is referring to probably early, a lot of the early books in my career and my new novel, A Traveller at the Gates of Wisdom. Uh, I've, I've always really enjoyed doing research. Uh, from my first novel, The Thief of Time, which was set over 256 years, um, I've loved going back in time and learning how people lived and how they ate and how they travelled and, um, you know, all the different facets of life in the past. And there's so many stories there. It's rich with story. So it's... Um, it's something I've kind of avoided in over the last few years, but I'm, I'm coming back to it now with, with this book. Uh, what book do you wish you had written? Pretty much, you know, 99% of the books that I've read um, and probably a lot of the books that you see behind me. But from this year alone, I would say Rob Doyle's Threshold, which is one of the most uh, brave and raw and exciting pieces of fiction that I've read in many years. Um, I couldn't write a book like this. It's um, a totally different style to my own, but I really, really admire it. It's, it's, it's quite wonderful. Uh, the next question is, do you prefer writing books for children or adults? I don't really have a preference. Um, I just love writing, really, and the movement back and forth over the years between writing books for adults and children has been really good for my creative brain. So I think I, I wouldn't really be able to sacrifice either or, or prioritise either. And the fifth question is, how do you feel about a John Boyne, Cyril Avery to James Joyce, Stephen Dedalus comparison? I finished Heart's Invisible Furies, which is this book here, and was immediately drawn back to Portrait afterwards. I wondered, was I the only one? Uh, well, it's a very flattering comparison. I've, I've, I've seen a little bit about that on, on Twitter and so on, I guess, because uh, both characters are very, you know, isolated in their own mind in Dublin and um, going through extraordinary experiences. Um, it, it's, it's too flattering a, a comparison, really, I think, for, for, for Cyril, but it's very nice to read somebody saying something like that. And finally, how do you find writing during lockdown? Has your process changed during this time? Well, I guess I'm used to being at home anyway. You know, I, I, I work from home, so it really hasn't changed all that much. I read and I write at home. Uh, I've been working on a TV script, though that's different. I don't normally do that. So thank you to everybody who has submitted a question for hashtag Eason Asks. Uh, my new book, A Traveller at the Gates of Wisdom, uh, is out this July, and it's currently available to order on uh, eason.com. Thank you.